My name is Shaleen Rodriguez. I'm an artist and an organizer based in the Bronx, New York City, and I'm here to talk about Jatavia Gary's work and ecstatic experience. My mother had 12 of us children, and it troubled her in our heart, you know, the way we was treated. And we start with Ruby Dee's reenactment of a former enslaved woman named Fanny Moore. Dee performs the moment when Miss Moore recounts her mother having an epiphany and jubilantly declaring that her enslavement and that of her children is over. Despite the violent lashes she receives from Master Jim, she continues her celebration, shouting, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. My work is really caught up with strategies of survival. Right now in the Bronx, it's about convincing people that affordable housing is really not affordable. It's about having to translate the doublespeak that this administration rails down on our people. As an activist, I come outside my building and I look at the housing projects and I'm just like, is everybody mad enough? Are we mad enough yet? I think that we are, but we are paralyzed by so many things in so many ways. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of God are stored. Jatavia's work really gets into the tension of it, those explosive moments. We flash from images of a black theater chorus singing Glory, Glory, Hallelujah, to the riots in Baltimore or Ferguson. It's a climax, a total ecstatic experience. It's what Fanny Moore's mother envisioned on that field, I believe. Jatavia Gary's film draws the audience to the head of the needle where we are all sitting. Haiti is sitting there. Undocumented folks are sitting there. Indigenous people are sitting there. Puerto Ricans are sitting there. The sick and dying planet is sitting there too. There is an inevitability that something has got to give. We are the natural next step in this ecstatic experience. So where will we take it and what marks will we make? 